Hey guys, it's Jenna and today I'm going to be talking about a very popular book that I read last month and that is The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. But before we get into the video, I would like to apologize because I recently dropped off the face of the earth. I have not posted a video in forever and I am so, so, so sorry. Not only have my weekends been absolutely crazy, I have also had a lot of trouble keeping track of my videos. I actually filmed my City of Bones review video way, way, way in the beginning of February and then it, I just lost it. After uploading it to my computer, I absolutely could not find it. Then I did find it and I tried to edit it and then the whole thing got deleted when I tried to save it. So I don't even know what's going on. Also, my dance schedule has been very, very, very hectic and I have been so busy with that that I just, I've just been shoving YouTube to the side and I am so sorry. But that's enough talk about that, let's just get on with the video. This book was actually a reread for me. I read it a really, really long time ago. I think I was about 12 years old and it, it, it didn't go well. There were a lot of parts I didn't understand and I guess I was just too young, but I ended up pushing the Mortal Instruments series away. I was like, I'm never going to pick one of these books up ever again. That is until I got talking about it with a friend of mine and she told me that I had to read it. She lent me her copy of The City of Bones and made me read it. And I'm so, so, so glad she did because I did not have any motivation to ever return to that series. And I'm so glad I did. If you haven't heard of this series, then you, you probably live under a rock. Everywhere I turn, I see the series The Mortal Instruments, especially since there is a new TV show called Shadowhunters that just came out, which is based on the series. It's, it's everywhere. The story follows a teenage girl named Clary who goes to this club and she witnesses a murder committed by three teenagers who are covered in tattoos, but she finds out that she's the only person who saw it. She also finds out that the person who was murdered was not actually a person at all, it was a demon, and she also realizes that demons are everywhere. So Clary is sucked into the world of the shadow hunters, where she learns that she herself is a shadow hunter, and it's it's such an amazing book, everyone has to read this book. But as much as I did love this book, there were a few things that I didn't understand or like about this book. First of all, every shadow hunter has this thingamabob called... I don't know what it's called. Well, at least I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. It's spelled S-T-E-L-E, -E, and I'm pretty sure you say it stele, but it might be steel, maybe it's stele. I'm not sure if you're supposed to enunciate one specific part of the word. I just don't know. I think I'm gonna stick with stele. So right now I would like to warn you that I will definitely be spoiling some stuff in this video so if you have not read this book yet or you plan to and you don't want anything to be spoiled for you, I suggest you leave right now. But if you don't mind a few spoilers or you have already read this book, feel free to stay. Let's talk about the characters. Why don't we start with Clary? Clary kind of reminds me of me. She's awkward, naive, and makes a lot of stupid mistakes but you gotta love her. When it comes to Simon, I've noticed a lot of people find him really annoying, but honestly, I love Simon. I don't know what all you other people are talking about, but I think Simon is great. Simon never fails to make me smile, and that is why I love him so much. He is just so funny, and he always knows what to say. Everyone seems to love Jace. On the surface, Jace is cocky and funny, and he laughs in the face of danger. But I think what everyone really likes about him is even though he looks really confident on the outside, he's sensitive and not so perfect on the inside. Wow, that was cheesy. Another character that I really, really like is Luke. He is just so sweet and caring and loving towards Clary and her family and everything that's going on in her life, making it so crazy and it's just so amazing. 
Spoiler city! Did I mention that Luke is a werewolf? I just find this such an interesting way to tie his character into the story even more. I mean, Clary has just found herself in this world with shadow hunters and demons and warlocks and fairies, and now it is even cooler because someone she has known for her entire life is one of these people too. Well, you know, not exactly a person, but a werewolf. Can we talk about Hodge for a moment? You know, I was really starting to like Hodge. In case you don't know, Hodge is the Lightwoods and Jace's tutor, and he seems like a great guy at first. By the end of the story, Hodge has betrayed them all, as well as you, the reader. Oh my gosh, I want to kill him. So far, we don't really know much about the Lightwoods. What we know about Isabel is that she's beautiful and sassy and awesome. That's really about it. Oh, and her weapon of choice is a whip. All we really know about Alec is that he's got quite a big crush on Jace. And nothing really good has come out of that. A little over halfway through the book, Alec almost gets himself killed trying to impress Jace. Luckily, by the end of the book, Alec has nothing to worry about because Clary and Jace are siblings. This book was absolutely amazing, and I hope everyone who has not read this book goes and, and gets it at their local library or bookstore because it's awesome. In fact, I just finished the second book, City of Ashes, so I will be doing a review on that one as well. You know, whenever I have time. <laughs> I don't even know what time is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Lind, linded, lint, lint me. It's blurry. Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness, English. Wow, that was cheesy. It's blurry again. There we go. Spoiler City!